What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys like the little montage I threw at the beginning of the video. Thought I'd give you guys some little extra clips, show you guys all the animals, get some underwater footage. Thought it was real cool. Came out really nice. So hope you guys enjoyed that. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys how my Florida box throws are doing. If you guys remember, it was last year, the end of last year, somewhere around there, I ordered two baby Florida box turtles from Chris Leone at Garden State Tortoise. I know many of you guys know who he is. Great guy, great turtles. They were so tiny when we got them. Now they're, later this year, they're gonna be a year old. So they're coming up on that. They have grown quite a bit. They're looking beautiful. Their patterns, colors are just popping. They're amazing turtles. I really wanna get an adult group so I can breed some myself, but add some time in the future. But I recently switched them over to a different tub. I had them in sphagnum moss before, had them in a little dirt, basically how a box turtle is in the wild, but they weren't doing amazing. And then I watched one of Chris's videos. He showed basically the water method and it's just amazing. I'll show you guys in this video. So let's get to it. So if you guys watch my other videos, I had the box turtles right over there in a small concrete mixing tub with dirt, sphagnum moss, and a little hide and all that, but they weren't doing as great as I hoped they would. And here we have my young female. She was a hatchling, but you know, she's growing pretty quick. I have to change her water, change her water every other day. So you can see she is really messy. So after this video, she will be getting some new clean, fresh water. But she is doing really good. Look at her, amazing little turtle. Got her from Terrapin Station. But back to the Floridas, they were in that tub right there, which is now gone. It's, I just basically put it away. And right over here, we have these new tubs set up. And this one on the left, we have my Hypo Alligator Snapper King. He's doing pretty well. I did have him in that big tub over here, but it was just too big for him. He wasn't doing that well. So I decided to move him to something smaller and he has been doing a lot better. I had this pet cube camera right up here, which I go on my phone and I can watch him throughout the night. But yeah, these tubs work really well. I ordered a pack of four, so I have two more. So hopefully we get some box turtle babies from these guys this year. You see one of my females is sleeping under the heat right now. Hello. We just woke her up. So these guys are doing amazing. I went and threw in a whole head of romaine in their little bowl yesterday and they completely devoured it. But yeah. So now back to these guys. It's basically about an inch of water. You don't want to cover it too much. These guys, I give them a little extra because they seem to like, you know, move around in the water. You can see this one right here. It's completely submerged. I always find them bask and climb up on top of the leaves. They love it. I do have this heat lamp right up here just to keep their water pretty warm. This room is already 70 degrees, so it's not too bad. But you can see for him, I have a water heater. I didn't want to do that for these guys because this water is a lot shallower than his. So we just have a nice little heat lamp. It keeps their water nice and warm. And these guys have been doing really well. But I'll show you guys the other one in the back. Oh, he just flipped over. I'm sorry. Come here, buddy. But like I said, their patterns, their colors, like, look at this beautiful turtle. They're so pretty. Oh, he just jumped out of my hand. Yeah, these guys are doing really well. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been feeding them in this video. Thought I'd show you guys how they look so far. Cause I haven't shown them a while on my channel. So yeah, there they are. So now we're gonna get to the feeding. So over here in between these two enclosures, you guys know I have all this turtle food. We got the croc diet, the tortoise diet. We have the aquatic pellets in here some Omega turtle sticks and some Zoomed aquatic pellets, which those Floridas completely devour and they love them. So today we're gonna be feeding them some of this and some Omega. Occasionally I like to switch it up, so I'll give them some Zoomed and then some Missouri. But today we're gonna get these two. And once in a while they do get live worms, they get raw shrimp. These guys get all types of things. You see this guy, he already knows what time it is. As soon as they see me with the food, they come and run towards me. They're adorable. So we're gonna try and twist this open with one hand. That went a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest with you. But I just like to go 
sprinkle in quite a bit. Just about there. These guys are starting to eat a lot more. Like I said, I do switch out the water in these tubs about every two days for him, these guys, and the Diamondback over here. Like to keep their water nice and clean because you guys know turtles are really messy if you don't have filters, but these guys don't realize there's food in here yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead, grab the Omega Sticks. My Diamondbacks love this too. And, oh, here we go. I thought I was gonna struggle opening this one. So right here, these guys are tiny, so I go and throw about like four, two each. They don't really eat it most of the time, but who knows? Look at that little guy. So I'll pick up the camera once they start eating. A few moments later. That did not take long. These guys are coming out. They kind of froze because I got a little close. Oh, oh, there goes that one. You just took a bite. Come on, buddy. I'm not going to do anything to you. They're still a little shy, but they have warmed up to me a lot. <laughs> These guys are adorable. Let's see. Ooh, there he goes. They love the zoom ed pellets. They go crazy for them. Like I said, this method is proven out to me as well to work out really, really well. These guys boosted up in growth. They grew a lot quicker when I moved them into these water tubs. And you guys can see this uh, shell growth on them is just really smooth. It's not bumpy at all. It's just, it looks amazing. And these guys are really healthy and they're doing really good. You can't complain. I highly suggest for you guys out there who have baby box turtles, if you're a breeder, if you just buy one, start off in a small tub like this, with about an inch of water for about the first year of their life. And then once they get a little bit bigger, then you can start moving up to, you know, their naturalistic enclosures with dirt, sphagnum moss, whatever it may be. But when they're tiny like this, I truly believe this is the best way. And you guys can see my results. They're just stunning little turtles. <laughs> Let's take a little bite. We're gonna leave them be for now. We're gonna let them finish eating. So I want to show you guys how these guys are doing. And they're doing absolutely amazing. That's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed. The Florida box throws are doing amazing, as you guys saw in this video. Highly recommend the water method to anybody out there looking to raise box turtles, if you already have one, if you're a breeder, whatever it may be, highly recommend, you won't regret it. The results are just amazing. And right over here, I don't know if you guys saw, we have a new turtle as well. He doesn't really talk or anything, but it's my little buddy. If you guys don't know what movie that's from, then I don't know, but highly recommend. If you guys know what that's from, drop down in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel, any ideas, whatever it may be. I am planning on making a bunch of fishing videos. We're going to have a wide variety, really. Once the weather starts to warm up, I'll be going on trips to ponds, catching, snapping turtles, whatever it may be. We're going to have a lot of fun, so I can't wait. So stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.